Okay, here we have the simplified value of log of 4th root of 7, 29 into cube root of 9 raised to minus 1 into 27 raised to minus 4 by 3. This is also quite similar to the previous one. So let's just simplify this further first. So if we simplify this, you get this as 4th power of 7, 29 into cube root of 9 raised to minus 1 can be written as 3 square raised to minus 1 that is 3 square into minus 1 into 3 cube raised to 27 is 3 cube into minus 4 by 3 because it's 3 cube the whole raised to minus 4 by 3 so it's fourth root of this this turns out to be 729 into, we can write this as raised to 1 by 3 if you want. We can write this as 3 raised to minus 2 into 3 raised to minus 4, the whole raised to 1 by 3. This is going to be 4th root of 729 into 3 raised to minus 2 plus minus 4 minus 6 the whole raised to 1 by 3. Now, 729 is nothing but 27 into 27 or we can use a calc. This is going to be a power of 3. So, multiply with 3 <coughs> n number of times and you get this as 3 raised to 6 into 3 raised to minus 6 by 3 which is going to be 4th root of 3 raised to 6 into 3 raised to minus 2 which is 4th root of 3 raised to 6 minus 2 which is 4 which is 3 raised to 4 the whole raised to 1 by 4 which is going to be 3 raised to 4 into 1 by 4 which is 3. So ultimately the whole thing is going to be 3 hence and it is a log of the whole expression so it's going to be log 3. So it's going to be log 3 to the base 10. So our solution or the option, right option for this is log 3. So the hint is that take the expression, no need to bother about the log, simplify the expression. All these are powers of 3, 27 is a power of 3, 9 is a power of 3, 7, 29 is a power of 3, express everything in terms of power of 3. So it's cube root of this whole thing and the correct option is log 3. So the correct value is log 3 as we found out. So all the previous sums were similar to this. Don't bother about the log first. Simplify the expression inside and the log will follow by itself. Okay. Now we have value of log a to the base b into log b to the base c into log c to the base a q, the whole q. Now all these are based on change of base. So if you see log a to the base b, if you change it, we can write it as log a to the base 10, old power to the new base, divided by log of old base to the new base. This is this, into log b upon log c, into log c upon log a, and this whole q. Now this, all these terms are bound to get cancelled, log b, log b, log c, log c. Ultimately, we get 1 q, which is going to be 1. So the value of this expression is 1. Remember, again, it's not log a into b, it's log a into log b. Hence, you cannot write this as log a plus log b plus log c. So it's 1 q, 1, which is the answer. So the option is c. Right? So the option being C and we get that as C. So hence in all these questions, the moment you get this kind of a situation, keep your mind clear. Don't mix this up with log A into B, log the whole of A into B. It's log A into log B. Right? So can we move to the next one? Yes, we can. So here you have value of log 25 to the base A given log 2 is so and so is what? So what can we do over here? We did it some similar to that earlier. You have given only the value of log 2 and we also know that log 10 is in any case 1. So what we do is 
this can be written as log 25 upon log 8 using the change of base rule. Log 25 to the base 8 can be written as log 25 upon log 8 because in the assumption is you change the base to 10 which can be further written as log of 100 by 4. We do that mainly because we know the power of 100. We know the log of powers of 10 upon log 8 can be written as 2 cube and this can be now written as log of a by b that is log 100 minus log 4 upon 3 log 2. This will turn out to be log 10 square minus log 2 square upon 3 log 2. Now log 10 square is 2 log 10 minus 2 log 2 upon 3 log 2. Now all these values have been given 3 log 2 is nothing but 3 into 0 0.3010. This is going to be this let's draw a line here 2 into log 10 so 2 into 1 minus 2 into 0 0.3010 upon this turns out to be 0 0.9030 which would be 2 minus 2 into point three zero that is 0 0.6020 upon 0 0.9030. Let's check what we have with the calcium over here. So we have 2 and minus 0 0.6020 0. minus 1.398 divided by 0 0.9030 and we have 1.398 398 98 divided by 0 0.9030 and what we get is 1.5482 roughly and it's recurring. So among these it turns out to be 1.5482 is the right answer. So our right answer is 1.5482. Let's check whether we have. Yes, that's the answer. So you'll be having a calculator in any case that will help you calculate this. Let's see further what we have. So we have the next. So what we have here is 7 log 16 by 15, 5 log 25 by 24 plus 3 log 81 by 80. Now what we're going to do is in built assumption, of course, is that the base is 10. What we are going to do is convert all 16, 15, 25, 24 as powers of 2, 3, 5 as the prime numbers. Hence, we have this as 7 log 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4 and 15 can be written as 3 into 5. So, this becomes that plus 5 log 25 can be written as 5 square upon 24 can be written as 6 into 4 if you bother put one more 2 to the other side you get you can write it as 8 into 3 which is nothing but 2 cube into 3 plus 3 log 81 log 81 can be written as 3 raised to 4 80 can be written as 16 into 5 which is 2 raised to 4 into 5 so we have converted everything in terms of 2, 3 and 5. So now this can be now written as 7 into log 2 raised to 4 minus log 3 minus log 5. We need to be careful in our flow. We should, we should not forget that both 3 and 5 are in the denominator. It's going to so show minus is preceded, each of these is preceded by a minus sign. Similarly, next one is going to be 5 
into log 5 square minus log 2 cube minus log 3 plus 3 into log 3 raised to 4 minus log 2 raised to 4 minus log 5. Next we are going to use the concept of transferring the index as a coefficient so this becomes 7 into 4 log 2. This would remain as it is log 3 minus log 5 and we have 5 and this would become 2 log 5 minus 3 log 2 minus log 3 plus 3 into 4 log 3 minus 4 log 2 minus log 5. Now the rest is just opening the bracket 7 into 4 log 2 28 log 2 minus 7 log 3 minus 7 log 5 is the first bracket. The next is 5 into 2 10 log 5 minus 15 log 2 minus 5 log 3 plus 12 log 3 minus 12 log 2 minus 3 log 5. Now let's collect all the similar terms. So we have 28 log 2 and you have minus 15 log 2 and minus 12 log 2. This turns out to be 28 log 2 minus 27 log 2. You could take the three terms, you have minus 7 log 3, minus 5 log 3, minus 12 log 3, plus 12 log 3. So it's minus 12 log 3, plus 12 log 3, which can cancel. Then you have the log 5 terms, you have minus 7 log 5, minus 3 log 5 is minus 10 log 5. And here you have plus 10 log 5. This gets cancelled. And what you're left is 28 log 2 minus 27 log 2, which is 1 log 2 or just log 2. So ultimately, this expression turns out to be log 2. So we have answer as log 2. This should be our option. So let's check this, verify. And yes, we do have log 2. I'd remind you again, whenever you have this kind of a complex thing, take a pause, keep the paper, start working on it. Maybe you could get the answer. Then you start with the video and check again whether what you've done is right. And if you've gone wrong, you'll be able to find out where exactly you've gone wrong. Simple tip. Furthermore, we have this. <clears throat> the value of the expression A raise to log b to the base a into log c to base b into log d to the base c into log t to the base d. So it's log c to the base b. This is the whole thing is an exponent. So let's first simplify what is in the exponent. So exponent has log b to the base a into log c to the base d into log d to the base c into log t to the base d. This can be now written as log b change of base upon log a into log c upon log b into log d upon log c into log t upon log d. So we have log b log d log c log c log d and log d. So ultimately it's log t upon log a. If you go back we can write this as log t to the base a. So all these terms get cancelled so ultimately you get log t upon log a which is log t to the base a. So what we have simplified is this expression. So ultimately it is a raised to log t to the base a. Now how do we simplify this? 
So we need to further simplify this in terms of a. So we can possibly take let log t to the base a be equal to x. That means a raised to x is equal to t. Now x itself is nothing but so in other words a raised to log t to the base a is t itself. That means a raised to x is t which means that instead of x we have a raised to log t to the base a is t. So ultimately this whole expression is a raised to log t to the base a which itself is t. So among the options that are given we have t should be the right answer among these. So we have t as the answer. So basically taking only the expression, simplifying it, writing it as log t to the base a. So ultimately it's a raised to log t to the base a. Now that one you can take it as x and convert it to exponential form and hence you end up getting a raised to log t to the base a is t. So our right option is t. Let's see. Yes, that is the right answer. I would suggest try these kind of sums again. Okay, now here we have another interesting one, simple one. Log 2a, this, we have done these kind of situations from across. 2a minus 3b is log a minus log b, which can be written as log of a by b. So log 2a minus 3b is log a by b. Now again log of one number is equal to log of another number. Remember see to it that it's purely log. There is no coefficient here. It has to be taken. So it's log of some number is log of another number. So the numbers are equal. 2a minus 3b is a by b. Again in these kind of sums see what the requirement is. You need to find the value of a in terms of b. So simplify this. This becomes 2ab minus 3b square is equal to a. Collect all the a terms. So you get 2ab minus a and you take 3b square to the other side, take a as a common factor and you get 2b, it's 3b square, I'm sorry, 2b minus 1 is 3b square. Hence, a would turn out to be 3b square upon 2b minus 1. So among these options, you have 3b square upon, this is not the one, here we have this is the option, that is 3b square upon 2b minus 1 is the right option we have here. So let's reaffirm that, and yes, we do have that as the answer. So in all these kind of questions, we had done about 3 to 4 examples of this kind, collect all the terms, convert it to a simple expression. Both sides you have logarithms of two different numbers and they are equal, hence the numbers themselves are equal.